Hi everyone and welcome to this mastering course, Modern Mastering Tutor, Mastering in the Box with Ableton Live 9. My name's Nicholas Dombrain, I live in Berlin and I'm a mastering engineer of quite a few years experience. I've worked with names like Alex Smoke, Sasha Bremer, Orbital, um, and a few of the big guns. And so I'm here to start looking at working in live with you, Ableton Live, and how we can achieve some great mastering results and do all sorts of wonderful things with the intuitiveness of live. There are really a lot of things that we can do and learn about that most likely you're not already doing. And even if you are doing them, it will really probably help to have these things certified by somebody who's doing this every day. So with the technical age upon us, it is really no wonder that more and more producers and bands are doing things themselves. And in these tough times, for many, professional paid mastering is not even an option. But it is expected if you are ever going to get signed or to make an impact to have a professional mastered sounding track with a likeable and respectable sound. So on the plus side, go on to the days when you had to spend thousands of dollars for good mastering. Now it is entirely possible to achieve good, release ready results, all from within your digital audio workstation and even using the inbuilt plugins. A lot of people have asked me what I think of live for the purpose of mastering and I would have to say up until version 9 I would not really have considered it so that's 100% honesty guys um, but some of the improvements in Live 9 are vast and it is now an extremely capable all-rounder with some quality effects tools and processing all very necessary for good mastering results so the real answer to the question is that yes it is very capable but only when you spend the time applying yourself and if you know how to use your tools the concept is the same whether we are using a 5,000 pound grain song compressor or the glue compressor within Live 9. Both are capable of great results if you know what you are doing and what you are trying to achieve. So a point that I often touch on, mastering is also relevant to the previous stages of course of the production. So every stage is vital, the mix down, the recording, the mix down, the production, the editing, the effects you use in your mix down. Everything is vital and it should be of high quality. And when you put in gold, you get out wonderful polished gold. It sounds great. So first and foremost, let's be clear. Mastering is not simply adding a touch of compression and limiting your mix track. No, not in this course. It's uh, certainly not just dropping the threshold of your limiter. Uh, it's more complicated than that. But in its basic form, there is a science to it. And if you pay attention to what we are trying to achieve and keep all of the processing subtle and at a high level, there's absolutely no reason why you can't achieve great release ready results. So if you want to be good at it, spend some time getting to know the tools of the trade and try to really come to grips with how small adjustments affect the overall balance and timbre of a track. Okay, so training your ears get right into that in the first few chapters of how we can develop our hearing and train for the better so although there are a lot of tasty live specific tips and tricks that will help you with your overall knowledge and workflow of live the essence of this course can be applied in general to any software or digital audio workstation so you can take what you learn here and it'll transfer directly some of the features of course of the specific plugins may not be exactly translatable but the concept is the same so keep this in mind at all times the beauty and benefit of staying inside the box of Ableton Live is that we can really focus on learning and keep things united right without the confusion of having to choose between the millions of plugins out there this is what I really like about how we do things in this mastering realm we're staying focused because we're within live and we're not confused by a hundred thousand options of plugins that we, we we can choose from so if you get to 
learn the tools covered in this course well, you'll be well on your way to being a mastering engineer. So mastering is my passion and I do try sometimes to teach as though you're in the room with me and I do apologize sometimes if I get a little excited in the headphones. It does happen, um, especially when there's music playing and my voice will rise with the music playing. Um, yep, we love what we do. <laughs> um, I will share as many tips and tricks from my years of mastering experience that I possibly can and will try to constantly provide you with practical examples. So hopefully it's not, not confusing and seems coherent throughout. Sometimes we'll go slowly, sometimes we'll jump around fairly quickly. This is how it is in real life anyway, I guess. So ebbs and flows, swings and roundabouts. Let's embark on the mastering journey together and have fun learning about what we love to do.